Hello everyone. Today our plan is to use the BBC Micro Bit to create a game of rock, paper and scissors. And we're going to use a challenge on my blog, 101computing.net, and I will provide the full web address as a link for this video. Now let's look at the challenge. Uh, we've got a bit of explanations of what we're going to try to do here. What we want is we want to cut the micro bit so that when we check it, it's going to display a picture and the picture will have to be one of the following three pictures, a rock, a pair of scissors, and or a paper sheet. And the idea that um, you're going to create this on your micro bit and then find a friend who can do the same code on their micro bit and then you'll be able to play against each other. Okay, now to do this challenge, you're going to need to access the BBC Microbit website. You can click on this picture here to access it. And you're going to create code using the block editor window. Here's the block editor window from Microbit with on the left hand side all the different categories where we will find our blocks. We've got our code window where we can drag and drop the blocks. And we've got the emulator the BBC micro bit to test our code before we actually download it, compile it and download it to the BBC micro bit. Okay, so let's get started. Well, um, the first thing I, I, I would like to do is create the pictures I'm going to use for this challenge and we need three pictures. So I'm going to go to the basic blocks and I'm going to use the show LEDs block. Now, if you look at the micro bit, you've got range of 25 LEDs, okay, five by five basically. And you can control each LED using this show LED block. So um, the first picture I want to create is the rock. So for a rock, I'm just going to do a big circle. Um, that would be like a stone basically. Um, so I'm going to lit up all those LEDs here and I'm going to fill it in as well. So it's fairly obvious, it's a rock. Okay, I'm going to need two more pictures. So rock, paper and scissors. So my next picture is the paper. So I'm going to use that as well. And for the paper, I'm going to draw an A4 piece of paper. So rectangle, I'm going to actually fold one of the corners so it looks more like a piece of paper. And that's it, that's my piece of paper. And the last picture is probably a bit harder to draw. I'm going to try to draw a pair of scissors. Okay, and I'm going to make them so that they are open. So there's only two um, sections here. And then the handles, there we go. Not sure whether you can see here, that it looks like a scissors, but you can do just a cross if you prefer. Okay, perfect, that's the first step. Um, we haven't solved our problem yet because what we want is the BBC micro bit to detect when it's being shaken and once, once that's the case, we want to randomly choose one of the three pictures. So let's look into our inputs. Now you will see that on the BBC micro bit, the main two inputs are button A and button B. However, that's not the one I'm going to use. It's got a sensor inside, so when you check it, it actually detects it. And it's got a block called on check. So I'm going to use that here. And for instance, I could do on check, show the picture of the stone or the rock. Um, let's try this. Now, if I run this, my emulator will um, try to run this code. And I've got a way to shake the micro bit. It's got a new button here. When I shake it, perfect, it display a stone. Okay, but once again, it's not quite what we want to do because there is no random aspect here. It's always displaying the, the stone. So I'm going to remove this here and I'm going to investigate all the different blocks I've got here. What I'm looking for is something to do with random or randomness. Okay, so um, I'm going to look for most of those blocks here, see if I can find something to do with random. And I've, to be honest, I've already looked and the only one I could find, uh, I think was in the math section, is this block here where it's used the word random here. So basically what it says is you can generate a random number between zero and um, whatever value you type here. So I'm going to use this 
okay, because that's the only thing that can allow me to do something random. Um, and this number, I'm going to store it into a variable. Okay, so I'm going to use a variable, set item to, and I'm going to pick a random. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that, um, I'm going to rename that variable. Instead of item, I'm going to call it random number. Okay. I'm actually going to use another code. I think it's easier to read. So my variable is called random number and it's going to pick a random number between 0 and 4. I'm actually going to change this to 0 to 2 because I want three different possibilities. And basically from 0 to 2 I've got 0, 1 and 2 which are my three possibilities. So whenever I check the micro bit I'm going to generate a random number between 0 and 2. And then based on which number I've picked, I'm going to display one of those pictures. If I display, if I pick the number zero, I'm going to display the stone. If I pick the number one, I'm going to display the paper. If I pick number two, I'm going to display the scissors. And that's how I'm going to do it. Now I've used the word if quite a lot here. So I'm going to go into my logic blocks, find an if statement. Okay. If and a bit of logic here. I'm going to compare if this random number, which is within my variables, if this random number is equal to zero, I am going to display the rock, which is this one here. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that three times. Um, I can either add two more if blocks, or I can actually click here and say, okay, I can add this elif statement and click there to disappear. So it's going to do that if random is zero. It's going to do that. Otherwise, if, and I'm going to use the same sort of code here. So I can either go back to my logic and drag the equal sign, or I can right click on this block here to duplicate it. I'm going to do that. It's slightly quicker to do. Else if, if my random number is equal to 1. I'm now going to show the paper, so I'm going to drag this one here. Okay, and my code is getting bigger. And I need a third if statement for the pair of scissors. So once again, um, I can either use another if statement from my logic section here, or I can click on this little blue icon. And oops, we can't really see here what's going on. Uh, I'm going to try another else if. Okay, so basically this if statement will give me the three possibilities I'm looking for. Um, here we go. And I can click on that little blue icon to close it. So if from the number is one, perfect. I'm going to duplicate this code. And if random number is two, I'm now going to display the scissors. And that's pretty much it, basically. So, to summarize, on check, I'm going to generate a number between 0 and 2, and based on which number I've selected, it's going to display a different picture. Let's try this. So I need to press the Run button. It's going to take a few seconds to refresh here. Perfect. So, so far nothing is happening because it's waiting for me to check the micro bit, which on this emulator I can do by clicking this button here. Okay, I must have picked number zero because I've got the stone. If I do that again and again and again, oh, paper again, stone again. Let's get the scissors just to see if it works. Here we go, and I've got the scissors here. Perfect. So it's basically randomized um, which of the three pictures will be displayed. Perfect. Now that I've tested it and I know it works, the next thing I want to do is download this code onto my microbit. So I've got to compile it first into machine code that the microbit can understand. And the file that is going to generate, I'm going to have to store it on the microbit. Now at this stage, you need to make sure that your microbit is actually connected to the computer using the USB cable. And if that's the case, 
you should see in your documents section. So if you open your My Documents, you should see here BBC Microbit. Okay, and what we're going to do, I'm going to minimize this. I'm not going to close it, I'm going to minimize it. When I press Compile, it's generating the machine code that the microbit needs to use and uh, I'm going to save this onto my microbit. Okay, so I'm going to save. Uh, okay. Now on Firefox, the file will be somewhere here, which means I can drag and drop it onto my documents and into my micro bit, which is here. Okay, it's doing it, it's taking a bit of time. And that's fully done. Okay, now if you're using a different types of browser, I know that on Google Chrome, when I do compile, um, the file will appear here at the bottom, but you can drag it on top of this, my documents here, and into the micro bit. Um, section here. Okay, once you've done this, you should be able to, you will see that the micro bit is going to flash for a few seconds while it's downloading the code, and then you should just be able to play the game by checking your micro bit. You may have to unplug it and plug the battery so it's easier to test. Okay, give it a go, and good luck with it. Bye for now.